If you listen to radio in LA, you know these ladies by voice. They are DJs from Power 106, KJLH, and 96.3. They're doing their thing. Latinas in the number two market in the nation holding it down. They're coming together for the first annual College Expo for Latinas. All right, here's 102.3 KJLH radio personality. I love her. She's been, I've been listening for a long time. Nautica de la Cruz on the job. Hey, it's your girl, Nautica de la Cruz. Make sure you check me out on a daily from Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. I got your naughty news at 11.20. I got great music. Plus, I take all your radio-free requests. And you never know who's going to be stopping by the radio. Naughty news. Got to hear more about that. <laughs> <laughs> Please welcome Nautica de la Cruz and from Power 106 and Love and Hip Hop on VH1. Yesi Ortiz and Cynthia Salinas from 96.3. Thank you. You guys are competitors, yes? Yes. yes. Yeah. Yes. Is it okay to sit on the same couch? Yeah. yeah. We're fine. We're fine. Girls are fine. amazing. No. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So I want to ask you how long you've been at your different stations, Cynthia? I've been there for about five years. Okay. Yes. Uh, going on nine. Okay. Uh, at KJLH, I just made seven. Okay. To keep these jobs in this business, in the number two market in the nation, what's the secret, Cynthia? Staying camera ready. No, I'm, <laughs> camera ready. I'm just kidding. Okay. No, um, I think it's doing our research and basically staying in, for, you know, not only in entertainment, which we're all we're all in entertainment news, mm -hmm. you know, radio, music, being involved in communities and getting out in the community. Yeah, yeah that's kind of my thing too. I get that. Get the word out and stay you relevant. Know, constantly staying yeah. relevant. Sometimes even when we're not in the radio business, we still stay relevant just so you could get that next gig. So okay, it's very important. I'm going to date myself because okay. I started in radio when I was in college and we had these cassette things that you would push in. Oh yeah, the oh, cards. Yeah. Yes. The cards, the cards, right? How yes. long ago was that? Um, <laughs> Yessie, what do you think about staying relevant in the business? How does that work for you? It's, it's challenging, you know what I mean? Because you're getting older, so you don't want to change with the times. We get set in our ways, but you know, now you've got to really change with the times. Okay. Your audience you is constantly worry, getting younger. You worry about getting older? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, I so get that. Um, but the audience is changing. Yeah, okay. your audience never gets older. You got to remember oh. that. Your audience always wow. stays the same. So it's Nautica, like, yes. you and I have been doing events in the past. Yes, we have. Um, what's your secret? My secret is um, keeping relevant with the times. And even though we are getting older and our listeners are getting older, you kind of want to stay where everyone is at. It's yeah. like the, the medium of it all. Okay, being women in the business, do we dare tackle that? Okay, yes, okay. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yes, you go. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you being, first. Oh my God, where do you start? Yes, the men true. in the business have egos. Oh, so. and the women don't? No, 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 I think the women do, but mm -hmm. we are, you know, we, we kind of already figured each other out. You know, yeah. we're, we, we could be catty. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. And my secret is just to cry behind closed doors or yell really? behind closed doors, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And then come back out. Cynthia, <laughs> firm. firm. you made a look there? Um, I don't, I, I, I voice my opinion. I don't do nothing behind closed doors. So it's almost like what you see is what you get. And as much as there's girls that could get catty, so mm -hmm. could the men. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Ooh, you guys. Sometimes. Do tell <laughs> off camera. Okay, we're talking about the college expo, the Latino yes. College Expo. Why does this matter for Latinos? It's so specific, Nautica. It's very important because we, um, you know, I went to college about a hundred years ago. Amen, and sister. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. And and we didn't have. This is the first annual uh, Latino College Expo. First of all, at the Los Angeles Convention Center, mm -hmm. but we didn't have this. And so to have 50 different colleges to come and you know present information and you know uh, and give you pamphlets and you know things that you need to know how to get into college mm -hmm. a lot of first generation or even second generation um, Latino families don't know anything about college they don't know that yeah. you know after high school you know you got to take your SATs you got to send out the application write that essay you got to write that essay right. you got to figure if you need financial aid or not or if you need grants so this college expo gives you all that information and there's yeah. also going to be translators there for the parents the that parents. don't speak English at all yeah Cynthia you and I were talking about college I know when I went being a broadcasting major I could then touch the equipment that other students couldn't touch what did college do for you um, I went to Columbia College Chicago mm -hmm. and uh, I love that I loved that college because what attracted me was that in itself any major that you picked right from your first semester you were able to take that equipment class mm -hmm. versus any other college you have to take your basics first yeah. and by the time you get to your major you probably changed your mind so Columbia College gave me that 
that experience right off the bat. If I, I would have known that I didn't want to be in this business because they give you that opportunity to try out mm -hmm. that field right off the bat. You don't have to wait the two right. years. Mm -hmm. um, and I just think that this expo is, I mean, again, it's the first one ever, which mm -hmm. is what caught most of us off guard. Based yes. off the Black College Expo, which is successful. Yes. yes. Okay, let me ask you to sum it up. One thing you would say to Latino students, and we'll just go down the list. Nautica, go ahead. Um, take advantage of this opportunity. It's the only time that you could go to an exposition and you have all these colleges and you could get so much knowledge in one day, just one day. You don't have to travel to 50 different colleges yeah. and that's going to take you about a year. Yeah. One day, it takes one day to go to get all this information. I'm thinking after this year, you'll do the following year as well. Okay, yeah. Yesi? Yeah. And come take advantage, like to add to what she said, of the panels, the seminars, mm -hmm. High School 101, booming majors. Um, and right where they're hiring, where they're yeah. hiring the jobs that are guaranteed mm -hmm. to get, you know the places that you can go to find okay. a job. Cynthia, sum it up for us. Um, I wanted to say it's never too early to um, start okay. looking into your college career, even if you're a freshman, a sophomore, even right. if you're in graduating elementary eighth grade. I started looking at colleges when I was in a freshman in high school, and it, don't wait till your junior senior year. Okay. Why get the information now? Cynthia Salinas, yes, yes your artist, Narca de la Cruz, thanks for coming in. The Latino Thank College you. Expo is this Saturday, December 13th, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. at the Los Angeles Convention Center. And just to let you know, we're going to put this on our web. And I'm telling you about it this time, but people can look it up in the future because I think you guys are going to carry this on for a long time. Yeah. Yes. All right, ladies, thank you so thank much. You for thank you so All much. All right. Thank you.